let's continue playing Dark Chronicle. Now, let's head over to Sinday to begin the story side of Chapter 2. Doo -doo -doo. What's that? It's a house. It's a house all by itself. That's kind of weird. Let's check it out. Yeah. Someone's there. Wow. Ah. What is it? What do you two want? Hey, you're from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? It's so cute, all curly and everything. That's a bit mean. Hey! Hey! That's right. There's something I want to ask you, okay? You... you... this is how you ask a favor? Oh, sorry. Oh! 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 I'm really oh. not surprised he's that angry. Have you heard of a being here named Jurak? I think overall... I wonder why he got so mad. You're an idiot. Yeah. You too. <sighs> anyway, there are a few photo opportunities around here. First off, there's a rock. Second off, there's a log. And somewhere around here, there's a patch of grass which looks different. Take a picture of the grass. Also, slightly more interesting is this, which we can take a picture of, with the Jurak. Oh. oh, I think also. No, yeah, maybe not. We, must... we have moon already, but... Ah, is that dawn? What time is it? It is dawn. Alright, we'll wait for that then. I think I knew which way east was. Assuming it, yeah, physics and this reality work exactly the same. Yeah, stupid vanguard. I will word that one out eventually. Seems to be brightest over here. Ah, morning sun. We got it. Right, go through this. Then check whether we got all the sun photos. So there should be morning sun, the sun, and is there evening sun? Yep, evening sun. Right, I think we got all of those. We will need another moon photo at some stage, but I will worry about all the recruiting side of this game a bit later. I guess not. I hear the Furbits are crazy about grape juice. I kind of wonder if that's been censored or whether they actually intended it to be grape juice. And we brought all this grape juice too. Now what are we gonna do? If he won't let us in, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. <laughs> Come in! Hey, it worked! I wonder if he still holds well, a grudge. Look at that! Three of them! What? Oh, you want the grape juice, huh? Well, it'll cost ya. Can I give you a little bit of free advice? Stop pissing off this guy! <laughs> Sooner or later, we are going to pay you for it. Hmm, let's see. I've heard you Furbits have a mysterious magical power to make things like houses and plants. That's an interesting power. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. Help you? You probably know there's something strange going on. 
The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's disappeared. At this rate, there won't be anything left in the future. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. No way! It's too much work! Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? What do you mean oh, you don't have time for this? <laughs> Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Hold on, Rococo. <gasps> well, at least we know his okay, name now. Too, I think I understand. Ah. I have to mess around with the settings. This is, it's very Come occasional, but and have a seat. The lag's still a slight issue. I know you ever really annoys me when there's James Conda. talking going on. This here's Rococo, and this is Tobo. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you two be? I'm Monica. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. You know there's something wrong with the world, right? A great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Hmm. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. Of course, I'd like to help out, but... To be honest, we're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. What's wrong? Tell us about it. Hmm. It's a long story, but it must have been about a year ago or so. One day, a beautiful woman got lost and wandered in here. We don't like humans too much, so we approached her carefully. The reason they probably don't like humans is because people like Monica play with the moustache and then... Ugh. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of you. But this woman was different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. Said her name was Holly. I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, Ow. but that didn't matter a bit. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the palm of her hand. Then, one day out of the blue, something happened. Holly left to search for food and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. A few days went by and still no Holly. We were so sad. It was like our hearts had been broken into a million little pieces. There was no way we could go on without her. In those few short weeks, she had become an essential part of our lives. She was part of us all. So we formed a search party to search for Holly. A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she disappeared that day. But those four haven't come back yet either. I was sure I picked the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. <laughs> so basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. Besides, we're really not in a helping mood. I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. I have a proposition to make. I bet I can guess. You want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Holly? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? So what does this Holly look like anyway? Any special features? Special features, let me see. Must have been something. Um, ah, her hair. It was long. <laughs> no, wait. Maybe it was short. I think. <sighs> Somebody who was such an essential part of your lives, you'd think. Wait, that's it. The potato pies used to make were the greatest. Yes, I'm sure if we can just find everybody in the forest that gets to make potato pies, that will that's solve right. our problem. That's They were mighty tasty. Yeah, incredible. Huh, <sighs> forget it. Potato pie? Flashback! That reminded me of the potato pies you made for me when I was a kid. They were so warm, eating them would always cheer me up. The most delicious potato pies in the whole world.
Could it be the holly that the Furbids talked about was actually you, Mother? Just thinking that made my heart beat faster. This was the other reason that I wanted to see the world, so that I could find you again, Mother. Even though the world had been laid waste, I had a feeling that you were out there. Somewhere. Okay, then. It's just beyond here. Lately, there seem to be some nasty monsters living in these parts. Watch yourselves now! Ah, uh, we'll be alright. We have Steve. Legend has it that in these woods lives a mysterious rainbow-colored butterfly. And anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly never leaves the woods again. You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went and accidentally found themselves that rainbow butterfly. Just be careful not to run into that rainbow butterfly. What do you mean, well, be careful? We'll try. What could we possibly do to prevent it? Fair point. If that happens... If that happens... Just pretend you didn't see it. Good answer. I like that. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, we're off. Oh, take this with you, boy. What's this? Ah, grape juice. It's the oh, why? favorite thing in the world. Grape juice. If you have this with you, those guys just might smell you and come running. Obtained? What is possibly wine? Okay, Depends where they I censored gotcha. it. Good. I'll be here waiting for you. I wish you good luck. Okay. Now we're going to add um, somebody to our party. Because we can do this. As I showed in the last video. We won't add Cedric, but we will make sure our robot parts are all repaired again. The one we want to add is not you. We want to add Borneo, I think. Because what Borneo does is quite useful at the early stages of the game. His abilities are to boost item acquisition. So we shall take that. More items, or more stuff in general, is always good. So, we shall save, and then next video we shall begin entering the rainbow, yeah, rainbow butterfly wood. So, until next time.